Hey, what's going on? This is Chip from WebVideoChefs.com, and today I'm going to show you how I make a watermark on my videos. A lot of times um, you want to give a client some things for some time code or just put your watermark on a video to make sure um, nobody, so you get credit, so, so, so nobody hopefully takes it or anything like that. So I use Apple Compressor. Now there's one way you could do it the old fashioned way, the long way is to just put on your timeline and put as an overlay. But I really think that Apple Compressor uh, can do it well. So I'm gonna add file, I'm gonna open up Apple Compressor and I'm gonna go to my movies folder and I'm gonna use my demo reel right here. So I'm just gonna click to my demo reel and I'm gonna hit at open. Once I open it in Compressor, um, you can see once I click on it, I can see a little thumbnail now I have to drag a destination down here in order to see it in this viewer over here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna compress it for the iPad and iPhone iPod my demo reel and then I'm going to save it and I'm just gonna right click on here and then I'm just gonna hit other and then I'm going to save it to uh, let's just save it let's go to my desktop and let's go to my output video and we'll go right there I'm going to change the name because I have one already saved in that name. So we're going to put this called this watermark. So let's type watermark. All right, M4V, and then it turns to black. Output video folder. So once I click here, I'm able to see my demo reel and see different things about it. But I have no watermark. I have a watermark here from the videos, but I want a web video chef's watermark on it. So what I'm going to do now, once I've done that, I'm going to click on these buttons down here, and I'm going to go all the way down to filters. And uh, once I go here, let me just click right here. And once I click on that uh, filters button, I'm going to scroll down, and then I'm going to see two things. I'm going to see text overlay. I don't want that. I see watermark. First thing I'm going to do is put a watermark. I'm going to look at it. I want it, my watermark in the center, believe it or not. I just don't want it. I, actually, I'll put it in a lower center. All right. And then I'm going to choose the file right here. And then I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to go to my web video chefs folder. And let's just see web video chefs. And then I'm going to go to my logo transparent too. I'll try. I'll try. Actually, I'll try that one. Logo transparent. So, as you can see, you see it right here. Now, this right here in compressor, and we'll be doing, I'll be doing a tutorial on compressor in depth a little bit later. This is how you move it. This is what you see now, and this is the compressed version, okay? So, I'm going to just move this slider bar over, and it's kind of large. So, you know, and it's not really, it's in a lower center, but let's try it. Uh, let's put it in the upper center, see what happens. And there it moves. And then I want it to scale it a little bit down some. All right. And then if I wanted more of alpha, it's already alpha channel because it is PNG and those carry alpha channels and add my logo. So then I can even make it there and then I can save it as a preset. So if I want all my videos, if I want that watermark right there, I can hit save as and save as preset and I can call it watermark. Okay. So we can save it like that. I'm, I'm not going to save it, of course. And then I want to show my client, um, I did this recently, that I want a time code in there. So time code, I want it to be, I want, a lot of times you see TCM space. A lot of times we see time code, something like that. Start time code at zero, zero. And then I want the time code to be actually white. So let's see what we have here. And as you can see, it shows up. Cause it was black of course on black and then i want this larger so a lot of people say how do you get this larger i'm going to select the font and then i'm just going to scale it up and that's how you make it larger if you want to make it bold bold or oblique and then i'm going to put this in the lower center title safe so now when you see this and you see my you see my reel and then if i hit submit and then if I hit submit again, you'll see that it's come up. So let's look to see how the final output has, has is going to look. And uh, we're going to go to my desktop output folder. And here it is right here. And that's the time code. I switch it around a little bit for my output, but I have it right there in the middle. And then my time code there at the end. 
and there it goes. So quick tutorial of how to put time code and overlays. Now you can do this to multiple videos. There's a question came in that I have 150 videos. I need to do that. Now, of course, you can do this 150 videos. It's a lot easier to do this than to put them on a timeline and do each of the videos individually to put a watermark on them. Take care. Any more questions, visit us at webvideochefs.com or ask at webvideochefs. Have a great day.